Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We've got some of our new chicken pens laid out here. We're going to gather up those bales in a little while. We're not going to just yet. The first thing that we need to do is finish setting up these new chicken pens. And then once we've done that, we need to go and get some more pallets and put those down. We'll also get rid of that trailer that we've got over there. And we'll then be relying on just our autoload trailer. And today I'd also like to get rid of the other chicken pen completely. And we will change that one over to a new horse pen. So we've got several things that we want to do. Uh, I also want to get that field up there planted. Now this one down here, this is all done out with grass. And we're going to be wanting to get, so we've got the, another horse pen that we're wanting to get. And we're going to be wanting to get more sheep as well for the extra wool. Although sheep I'm probably going to be putting up here rather than down here. This is going to be chickens down here. We're going to keep going for more chickens. Uh, we won't be doing it out on the big level bit down here. I'm going to sort of try and put them up on the hill so they go up higher. And then we'll do tracks running to each of the pens. It's kind of what I was thinking. So, something along those lines, anyway. Um, but anyway, for now, we will keep working on this. And um, see, so yeah, my overall plan is to buy out all of these fields here. Now, I did say about turning this into one great big field, which some people liked. But most of you suggested that I should do this as two separate fields. Keep the track in between. Um, enlarge field 8 a little bit out to the boundaries a bit more by all means. But run it as two separate fields. And that's our end game. We want to buy those. We want to do at least one full harvest off of those two fields with machinery that we own. Then we'll look at moving on to a new map. I'm not sure what the new map's going to be. I'm not sure what um, sort of... You know, other stipulations and everything we will have when we move to a new map. But uh, it's, it's all stuff that we want to do in the future. Right, if I run along there like that, it's not the prettiest, but it is laid out in front of that pen. I'm hoping that's actually enough on there and that we're not going to need to do any more. If we can do that each time, just a, a, a quick tip like that rather than having to do anything different... It should make it a lot easier to just get these bits set up, at least to start with. And I'll bring that one over there, and I'll do exactly the same on here. I'll start tipping, and then just move forward as I go, and then stop. And I'm hoping that will also be enough. This is quite a thick layer of wood chips that I've plonked down there. But again, I'm hoping it's going to be enough. And once we get 1.3 update to come out, we will be able to put a load of grass back down here. We're not just going to have this sort of dead area of green ground. It will actually be able to have grass put on it, which will be absolutely wonderful. That, that That's just what we want. Okay, so now I've got these wood chips. I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. And I'm thinking, have we got any kind of wood chip storage? We've got a hayloft right there. Uh, but, and then we've got a root crop storage. No, I don't have any here. I thought maybe I would have one, but I don't. Because um, there was one of those that was converted to wood chips. But, I mean, I don't know if I've got it somewhere, but I don't have it on here. And those grain silos, yeah, they don't, they, that, that's not for wood chips. So I've either got to get another trailer, or I've got to go and empty this one out somewhere. Uh... I might just go and add this to the heap that we've got down the bottom at the moment. Because I need to bring some grain up here. I need to put it in for those chickens. And then the next thing that I want to do is... I mean, I've got that field up there. We've now got... It's harvested. I need to do something else with it. If we're getting more horses, I'm going to need more oats. So we did wheat up there. So we'll plant oats on that field up there. Which means that I want to really get a move on and start doing the planting up there as soon as possible. So if I come whizzing around this way and we will dump that lot out there. Um, I might go and get... Do I want to get the tractor going yet? You know, I'm just thinking maybe we ought to get this one going. We've got fertilizer in here so I don't need to do anything else with it for a minute. But I could just start spreading a little bit of fertilizer on this. Ooh! Right, well, 
we need to do two lots of fertilizer, don't we? But at the moment, our seed drill... No, we need a bigger tractor. If we're, if we're going to upgrade our seed drill, we would need a bigger tractor. And we don't have a bigger tractor available at the moment. So that's got to be our next sort of thing. I believe I asked you last week to talk about new tractors and which ones you wanted. Um, you may have, you may not have. Uh, this is the problem, is I have n multiple series running. So I sometimes I forget which ones the comments are for... Which comments are for which series? But I, I'm pretty sure we've talked about tractors before. Um... And I'm certain that people said New Holland. New Holland was one that was requested because it's one of the most upgradable tractors there is in the base game, at least. Uh, we've got some serious upgrades available with the, the T8, I think it is. Uh, the T9 is the big articulated tractor. I'm ruling the articulated ones out for now. Um, but I'm pretty sure you all, uh, several of you said go for the T8. Uh, because there's some, you, we, there is some significant upgrades available on the T8. And there is, look, see, I just drove over that bit of wheat right there. And it's, it didn't break it. There's something amiss with that little, the one little patch right there. Right, it's not quite, oh no, I've turned crop destruction off. That probably doesn't help. You know what I think? No, I, I was just thinking maybe we should landscape, but I don't think I can landscape that bit either. I think that bit is just kind of going to have to stay there. So I'll set you... What do you mean? You, you haven't finished anything. Don't give me that nonsense. Get to work. I'm not putting up with any of your laziness. I will not accept laziness here on this farm. At all. Right. They're going to carry on doing what they're doing. So we're going to dump the rest of these wood chips in that heap down there. Like that. So I will back you up to here and katip. Just like that. There we go. Right. I now have confirmed that the FS19 server is available. We're going to be starting to set it up and get things ready for it um, and I will keep you posted on the discord and also hopefully in the videos as well as to when the FS19 server will become fully available. Now I did say it would only be for people in the great book of names we're considering some slight alterations to that uh, namely we're considering allowing anybody to play on the server um, it's only going to be a 10-man server, not a 16-man server. I'm deliberately limiting it to 10 people. It's uh, the main server hub for it is based in Frankfurt in Germany. Um, we figured that was probably the most central location to the largest number of people. Um, but 10 people on the server at any one time should hopefully try to limit the lag a little bit uh, for many of you. At least that's what I'm hoping will be the case. And we've, so we, the server is there, but I need to set it up and the, um, and get sort of stuff ready and, and in place for it. So, uh, the first time that the server goes live will be on one of my live streams. So it's not going to be for several weeks yet, but it is coming. Okay. The server is coming. It's on its way. There will be a server for you to game on multiplayer server. I, I, I'll have to tell you right now, I don't have a lot of time for gaming in my spare time. I'm very rarely able to get onto the World of Warcraft um, guild and do stuff with people on there. I, I'd like to. I really would. I would like to be able to get onto the World of Warcraft server um, and, uh, you know, log on to the guild and, and join in with people on there and do stuff. But I just don't have the time to do it. And the same will apply for the FS19. So I do go and record several days a week on the World of Warcraft stuff. So the people who are in the guild, if they're on when I'm doing my recording, they are turning up in the videos. Um, but outside of that time slot, I very rarely get time to actually go online and play with people. So 
Um, I did originally hope that I would be able to do more, but unfortunately it's, you know, life does have a way of getting in the way sometimes of um, all the most wonderfully laid out plans, and it's just not happened. Um, the same will apply to the FS19 server. I won't be able to play on there um, very much, if at all, most of the time. However, I am planning to be doing, I hope, one of the live streams per month, which would be every so well every four weeks because I do every two weeks I do FS19 and then the other week I do a different game, and so what we what I'm sort of planning at the moment is I'm hoping 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 that I'll be able to do an FS19 stream once a month on the multiplayer server. Now while I'm doing the stream while the live stream is happening, people on the server will be limited to only those of you who are in the great book of names okay it won't be open to everybody that is a special treat it's my thank you to everybody that is in the great book of names uh, but this way you don't have to spend you know if you can't afford to uh, make a donation there is ways to get into the great book of names by sort of going above and beyond what would normally be expected you know, helping out on the channel uh, being very active in the comments, being active on the Discord. There are ways to earn a slot in the Great Book of Names, okay? Lots of people have done it. And so you don't have to make a financial donation. But it will take time. So we're leaving the multiplayer server in general. is going to be for everybody to use. Um, that way, everybody does get a chance, even those of you who are still trying to earn a place in the Great Book of Names, but I'm um, also giving a reward above and beyond being named in any of the series that I do um, through uh, you know, an additional reward for those of you who have earned your way into the Great Book of Names. And that additional reward is that when I'm live streaming on the multiplayer server, you are the ones that will be able to go on there with me. If we've got a lot of people that are waiting to join, then we will probably do say uh, an hour with an hour with the first nine people and me. It will probably be an admin and eight people and me. Um, and then after an hour, those eight people will be booted off the server, and the next eight people will come online, and they will get a turn. And then the following month, we'll move on to the next 16 people. So we'll figure something out. Everybody will get a chance. Everybody that wants a turn will get a turn, okay? You're not going to be having hours and hours and hours of video dedicated to you. And I'm not going to be endlessly plugging people's channels. That's not what this is about. This is just about you appearing in a video gaming with me, which a lot of you have been asking to do for a very long time. So that's what this is. That's, that's the aim of all of this. And I mean, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I'm hoping that you all are really going to enjoy it as well. Um, now, we've got no more wheat. I've just used, I've just put all of the wheat that we've got into our chickens. Okay, I've got no wheat left in storage. I've got 10,000 litres of oats left. So those chickens there are full with 20,000 litres. The black ones there, they're full with 20,000 litres. The white ones, they're full. Those brown ones, almost full, but not quite. Sheep over here, we need water and we need some grass hay. That's easy enough. I can go and chuck that in very quickly. Um, and then these chickens, they've got 1,800. I'm going to get rid of them today. They're going. And then over here, oats are actually pretty much full. So I don't need oats at the moment, except that... I'm going to need oats if I'm going to be doing another horse pen. I mean, I got 10,000 litres. So maybe I should do a, maybe I should do another um, planting of wheat instead because I'm still going to want more chickens. Um, although what I'm thinking at the moment is we want, rather than... Um, we, we do want the horses. The horses first. I should prioritise the horses. And not worry about getting another chicken pen just yet. I could do another planting of... Right, well, let's let's go up there a minute. Let's go to you. 
I can do another planting of um, oats up here. Do, do oats up here so that we've got oats for the horses. And then we'll do chickens. We'll, we'll do more wheat. But we, we're going to be getting eggs from these chickens that we've got. Those eggs are going to be turning up fairly soon. Uh, especially while we're waiting for this lot here to grow. And that's going to leave us then a little bit of... Um, it's going to give us more money. And we should get quite a bit now. If we've got extra pens that we're getting eggs from, we, they, they sh we should be getting quite a bit, which would be qu which, great. It would be absolutely fantastic. Um, now, I went and I, I took all the trouble of turning that field over there into grass. We've got grass all the way across that, and I still haven't cut any of it. So that's another task that I've still got to do, is we need to go and do a whole load of mowing over there. I will do it. It's another thing that is on my to-do list. Okay, my to-do list is getting longer and longer and longer. And I am going to be doing it. Okay, so we'll drop that one down there and we'll get the seed drill on and we will get planting some oats. So we will do the oats because we've got the horses in the fields. So there, go on to there like that. And I want to switch you over to oats like that. Refill that one from the pallet that we've got down there besides. And refill again. That should be most of the seed that I need then. There we go. Right. That one's done. I'll bring you out. So we're just going to be swapping oats and wheat really in this field. Uh, at least for the time being. We're not going to worry too much about uh, proper crop rotations or anything like that. We're going to complicate matters. And... Unfold you, and we'll get started. So we go straight into planting, so that we've then... Uh, if I do an outside round, and then... Actually, I was just wondering, should I do one outside round or two? I'll do two outside rounds, and then we can leave the hired help to carry on with this one. And we'll go and just tidy up afterwards once it's done the two outside rounds. And then we've got uh, the horses to go and do. That's, that's going to be our next task. Except that I don't have the money to deal with the horses. I can clear the chickens away. I can sell the chicken pen that we've got. And I can clear the chickens away. But I don't currently have the money to go and buy the new horse pen. I don't think. I do have the Place Anywhere mod at the moment. So we've... And I'll probably just keep that one, although it's, it is, I'm not the greatest fan of the Place Anywhere mod. I'd rather the, that we were just able to place the stuff down where we wanted it. But, I mean, it might be useful, especially like up here. I could straighten out the edge there and um, make that so that it's no longer really weird. Although it's going to probably still leave a tree stump there, isn't it? Like an invisible tree stump. And I don't really want that because the game at the moment is recognizing that there's a tree stump there or there's something in there uh, because we cut that one before the 1.2 update. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure how we should go about dealing with that. We'll see. We'll see. We, we, we won't worry about it too much at the moment. Let's go bouncing around there. That was terribly done. It is not the way to treat the machinery, Frith. We go back up round here. It's a little bit slow going back around, but twice around, I think, like this. And then we can just use the hired help to start going along the straight bit down the bottom. It should go round the whole field without any issues. And also, going up here, it should get rid of that little bit of crop that was missed. Yes, that's perfect. Ideal. So we haven't got to worry about that either. Go up through here. And then it should be able to just carry on and plant this entire field without any hiccups or headaches or problems whatsoever. At least in theory. Whether that's actually going to work out in practice is another matter entirely. Right, that was easy enough. Just back up round there a minute and we can set that one off on his Mary all the way up across there. Bring you round a bit. There we go, and right, now press H, off you go. You're going to be a good boy, you can do all of it. Just going to do that bit there. We've got that one little bit that sticks out right there, and it really does annoy me. But it's taken care of that, and it's not tried to turn around before it reached the house. 
everything is tickety-boo and hunky-dory and wonderful. So we'll let you carry on over there. Right, first bit done. And we've got some feeding and stuff to do for horses and, and other stuff like that. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to jump into you and we're just going to move you back out the way a little bit. I don't need to go too far. But I just want to move you back over here somewhere. Like that. There, yeah, you can park in the bushes. Lower you down there. Right, I do have that one. And he may be in the way of what we've got over here. So our next task is to go into here. I've got three small things of eggs there. We will we'll move those in a minute. First up, we want to go into here. And we want to... Right. I just start moving all of these over. So we will sell all of these. We sell a rooster as well. Everything is going. We're full clearance sale today. Everything's got to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute bargain. You will not find a better deal than what you're getting here today. I'm selling the chooks at $25 a piece. And I'm being charged... What? $1,500 to come and move them? That's a rip-off. Oops. Confirm. Uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to buy a new one. Now I need to, yeah, okay. So I've, I've, I've just lost that one as well. I've lost more money. There's another $25 just thrown down the drain. She has more on that because of uh, moving the, the, the fees. Anyway, it was, it was expensive. Let's, let's, let's just leave it at that. It was expensive, prohibitively so. I didn't like it. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. So I'm just going to dump those three boxes up there so that we get them out of the way. He says, throwing the eggs around. Don't throw the eggs around, Frith. You'll break them. We're not making hard-boiled eggs here. If you cook the chicken first, if you, it's the, this a little known secret that a lot of people aren't aware of is that when you have your chicken pen, if you cook the chickens before you put them in there, they'll lay hard-boiled eggs. Did you know that? Okay. For a, just just to let me clarify, don't cook the chickens that you want to keep for laying your eggs. Okay, I, I, I will just clarify that point because some people, I have no doubt, will try and take that seriously. Uh, that was not intended to be taken seriously. Do not take it seriously. Okay, I, I think I've made myself clear now. Do not take it seriously. Uh, so we have got cheap pasture, horse paddock, large chicken coop. There, small chicken coop. Sell you 10 grand. This vehicle tool has been sold. That's chicken pen. It's a chicken pen. There we go. That has now been sold. We've got wood chips over here. We're going to need to move those wood chips. That's going to be our next task because the landscaping tool doesn't move them for you. The other thing that I need to do, actually, is I do need to move that pressure washer. That's the, I need to sell that one. So we go to the garage over here, and we go to you. Yes, I want to sell that one as well. So I'm going to go next into here. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go... Actually, what am I going to do? Yes, I know what I want to do. I want to go back to here. And we want to go to start landscaping. So we've got the place anywhere at the moment, which should allow us to go over that. It'll get rid of the grass around the side. But because we've also got the place anywhere mod active at the moment, it's going to get rid of this bit on the top. Which is actually something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. So, pleasingly, I'm able to get rid of all of that. And I can go right back into it like that. There. I don't want to do this too savagely. There. Now I'll use the, the leveling function rather than... Um, the smoothing function, I should say. Rather than the leveling function, which I was... That was the one I was just using, was the leveling bit. I'm now using the smooth function. So we want to smooth this down now. Look at that. It does do a fantastic job of smoothing down. It really does. It's just a shame you can't leave it as like ploughed land. And that you've got to leave it as the textured stuff. Which we didn't really want to do. But 
the same time, I am able to go over this and I'm able to make it neat and tidy. There is one other bit that I wouldn't mind going over and making neat and tidy. But it will mean going and doing a little bit more plowing. So I'm going to leave it for today because I can't be bothered to go and get the plow and go and do that. Um, you all know the bit that I'm referring to, I've no doubt. There we go. This Place Anywhere mod is absolutely wonderful. Now, I don't see anything that has been left behind. Right? I don't see anything there. Which is good. But there is that little lump right there. It would be good to level that off. But I can't be bothered to go and take a plow and, like, smooth it all out again. Uh, so the only thing left to find out is... Yes, it does. It removes the wood chips. Right, that's good. That's all I wanted to do is just remove the wood chips off of there. Uh, smooth that function out there a little bit like that. Um, I guess, really, we could just... Smooth that down a little bit around there. Okay, so I've got $19,000 at the moment. And the new horse pen that we want is another small horse paddock. That's $50,000. So we don't have $50,000 available at the moment to go and buy that one, unfortunately. I think it will fit. I see no reason why it won't, because it's not that big a pen, really, when you look at it. When you look at the overall scale, it does seem to be... It does seem like it would fit in there quite comfortably. I'm hoping so. I mean, we've we've got the Place Anywhere mod. So we that's hugely, hugely in our favour. Uh, $20,000. Now, there's a couple more things that we want to do. We want to go and get a load more egg pallets. Uh, we could sell that trailer up there. Actually... Maybe we could take those pallets off of that trailer right now, and then we can get rid of that trailer. Because we've got another trailer. We we've got the autoload one, and we're going to be doing it with this. This is the one that's going to be doing most of the work. I want a minimum of six pallets per chicken pen. Six empty pallets. So those are the 9,600 litre pallets. And... Now, however we get them is absolutely fine. I mean, I, I don't really mind that. But if we've got six pallets per pen, that's going to be absolutely wonderful. I mean, I could just do it from here. Let's bring you in like that. So there's our first one right there. And... Right, well, I'm, I'm just going to have to sort of take these off and move them out of the way a minute. And then we'll get the tractor. We'll hook that onto the trailer. I suppose I... Well... No, I'm, I, I don't actually have any reason to go to the shop at the moment. So I'll just take these off. I could... I, you know, I don't even need to do this. We can, ju we can just do this the quick... Let's just do this the quick way. Let's get that trailer out of the way, shall we? So I'll go into there and I will go to the garage and have we leased this one or have we bought this one? I can't remember if I leased it or if I bought it. Uh, I bought it. It's that one right there. 9,229. Sell. Yes. Job done. Okay. And there we go. So uh, I've dumped those straight down to the ground. I've got 28,000. Still not enough. I need a bit more money. This will give us six pallets over here. One of those pallets is not the one that we want. One of those is still not the reusable egg pallet that we're going to want here. So we're going to have to get another one for there. And, I mean, we're going to need a load more pallets anyway because I'm planning to have even more chicken pens. The most time-consuming part of this entire setup that we're going to have is putting the empty pallets back on the squares. That's going to be the time-consuming part. All the rest of it is going to be really quick, easy, and straightforward. But putting the empty pallets back on the squares, that's going to be the bit. So once we've gone and sold the eggs and we come back with all the empty pallets, just shunting them around and putting them back onto the squares here, that's, that's going to be the bit that will take us a little bit of time. Um, be a little bit fiddly. But, I mean, overall, I think it's still going to work out really well. Because, I mean, I can dump them down pretty quick and... We don't have to have them tidy. See, I can just do that. I can shunt them in around. I've got six pallets there. I could actually fit nine pallets per chicken pen if I wanted to. Which is quite a lot of pallets. Nine per chicken pen. 
That is an impressive number of pallets, actually. Right, well, let's bring our little skid steer over this way. We might consider selling the skid steer and getting a telescopic handler. Because that is also pretty good for handling pallets. But for now, we'll keep the skid steer. I'm quite happy with the skid steer. And, and the same applies with the wool. We're going to need... Um, well, we've got three pallets, I think, at the moment for the wool. Which I mean, it's doing all right for the wool, but we could probably do with a little bit more than that. And I wanted to put some more stuff in for the sheep. Then we've got to increase the size of the pen for the sheep. So we've got one pallet of wool ready to go there for the sheep. Once we get more off of them, that would be great. And also, we've yet to find out how much we can sell the lamb for. Because, I mean, that's, that's the reason that you breed sheep, right? Is you, you breed them for the lamb. You, you're selling the lamb. You might sell the older sheep for mutton sometimes, but this, when it tastes a little bit like lamb, but it's just really strong. Um, so there's no real reason. So 1500 to buy a new one. Uh, then it's 1000 per sheep to sell these. And it's 100 for the movement fee if you just do it like that. And at the moment, we've got a small sheep pen with 45 sheep in it. And I think it goes up to 100 sheep, is it? So look at that a second. Animal pen, I think it's 100 sheep in the small pen. It is, no, it's 80 sheep. Right, 80 sheep in there, and the large one is 250. So it'll be interesting to see how many sheep, um, what the, like, the breeding rate is once you, you, your sheep are at maximum capacity. Because what I would say is we'd sell 10% of the sheep. So we'd sell 25 sheep off the top and then how long is it going to take for us to earn back those 25 sheep before we sell another 25 a thousand dollars a piece if it's you know i don't imagine that it would be as fast as a day so maybe two or three days to earn those 25 sheep uh, that's another 25 grand coming in the wool itself we're on easy mode the wool still seems to be the most profitable part of the sheep production, which is not like real life at all. Selling the yeah, selling the lambs off of the sheep, that's where your money is. Uh, but I've, already, I've been over that. We've already talked about that, so we don't need to go into that today. Um, now, what was the next thing I want to do? I need to go. We do need to bring that one back. We'll do that shortly, but we're not going to do it just yet. You are still planting. You're doing a wonderful job. We'll let you keep going. Uh, so we need to go to you, and we want to get a water bowser first, because the sheep have got no water. The horses are going to want a little bit of water as well. I'll take you, and I'll fill you up. Right, even though the water doesn't cost anything, if you've got negative money, it doesn't allow you to fill the water. That's, I couldn't fill the water before. It's because I had a negative balance on my bank account. It will not allow you to purchase, to get water from your pump, even if you've got, you know, it's, it's free. The water is not costing me a penny, and yet I can't get water if I've got a negative balance, which, quite honestly, seems a little bit ridiculous. We're going to go for some more money. I'm going to borrow more money. I don't know how much more I can borrow. I'm gonna go for it yet. Yeah, we, so we've gone for another 50000 uh, because I do, I want to get this. I want to get this before we finish up today. We've got the horse paddock right there, because then I can start getting this next paddock set up. Okay, so we've got everything on there. And that one, I want to put it the same way as the other one. So if I go shift like that, and I spin it round, and then if you press C, and you rotate it, it squares it up. So I'm going to rotate that one round like that. So that's perfectly squared up. Like that. Now, I'm not worried about getting it squared up on the other bits. But I'd like it squared up so it's sort of facing this way. Now, I can move it around a bit. Let's, let's zoom in a bit here. And I want to lower it down from there. So, we need to... It's Control q and E to lower it down. And there, I'm down now pretty much level with the other horse pen. It's going to drop the other area down a bit. It's going to force down, like, the track there. Um, over this side, it's going to push that down a little bit as well. So maybe I should go up a little tiny bit. I could pull it back that way a bit. No. We drop down a bit. Let's go to there. 
right out on the edge on the side where the horse is. Uh, yeah, on the left-hand side. Let's go there. Right, that works out nicely. I like that. That's good positioning for it, I think. Because I got the straw will go in here. The straw will also go in up there. Although I'm now thinking, looking at it, that perhaps I should have rotated it round a little bit. So that the straw was being put in down here. And I didn't have it at the top end. But no, no, no. I'm, we won't second guess that. I'm actually fairly happy with how it's come out. And I can do a little bit of leveling like this. I don't actually need to do anything there. This bit here just wants to be smoothed off a little bit on the concrete pad. And then we can put our pressure washer back. It doesn't need a great deal here, does it? Right, I'm, I'm really not needing very much there at all. Here, I do want to do some leveling. Just on this corner right here, we want to smooth that out a bit so that we're able to just get up round here without any trouble. And this bit here, it hasn't really made any significant difference to it. It's this bit over here that has made, it's got like the, the most significant change. So I'll bring that around like that. And we just want to sort of do a little bit of smoothing here. Like that. There. Keep bringing it down like that. But now our track is a little bit one-sided over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and force this out. This is the tricky bit. Okay, so we want to bring F1 out and we, so that we can have a look at that. First thing I want to do is I want to change the radius of this. The radius is too big at the moment. So I'm going to drop it right down like that. And then I'm going to press the mouse button, just the, just the left mouse button to put that down like that. Because you'll notice that it immediately it pushes it into a square to form it. And that's the difficult bit. That's, that's what does make it a little bit tricky when you're trying to form a smooth area. So what i found so far, ignoring the fact that we're using at the moment the Place Anywhere mod, which is allowing us to override bits that are nearby... Uh, what i found is clicking it and building it into a series of steps to start with is what you want to do. Then you want to increase your brush radius again and use the middle mouse button and go back to that smooth function. Uh, a brush strength is 0.1 at the moment, so I'm going to increase that. I go left control Q, uh, no, left control E to increase the strength. Uh, put up to a 0.5. So that'll give our smooth function just a little bit more strength. And all that's really doing is that's just going to speed it up a bit. So don't, I'm not going down over the sides here at the moment. I'm concentrating on building up our track. So I'm going through all those extra little humps that I put in, like that, and then going over them, and this is just kind of leveling the whole thing. Sometimes I've found, I have played around with this a bit in my spare time, just, just trying to find, like, the best ways to build tracks and, um, like, get the most out of this, because... It's, it's a really cool function, and I really do love the way that you can form your farms and that. And then I'm coming down the side here now. And yes, I'm sort of changing the way that it's worked. And because I'm using the um, the placement mod, it's, it's sort of covering up that more than you would normally want it to. But it, again, that's okay. It's not going to actually hurt anything. And then I can smooth that through there. So you can now see I've got a nice even road coming down. It does lean over to one side, but I've been on plenty of farms where that's actually not an unrealistic thing. Okay, so we, we don't have an unrealistic approach to our pens right here. And if anything, what you would do is we'll use the right mouse button now. And we'll just lower that down a little bit right there. And then I'll use the smooth function again, like that. So what I've done here is I've pulled that down. Now that fence is sticking up in the air a little bit, and there's nothing we can do about that. That's the, the glory of this place anywhere mod. It does allow us to ignore that, which 
I'm appreciating while I'm doing this. I'm actually appreciating that more and more and more. It's it, it's genuinely brilliant. And then we can just bring that down like that. And there's always bits on a farm. There's always tracks on a farm that are not going to be level. They're going to tip quite harshly sideways. Right? And you've got places where you could drive along with your tractor. And we could happily drive up and down here every day to go and check on the animals. It's not going to be an issue in any way, shape or form. But... This is not the track that you would use, so I can get rid of that. We're done in there. I can do it with this one, right? I can drive along with this one, and we can go, and we can put the water in. We can drive up through here, there, so we've now got a nice smooth track. It's leaning off to one side ever so slightly, but you would definitely think twice before you came down there with a load of hay. I mean, you'd probably be able to do it, as so long as it wasn't stacked too high, but you would be very, very careful and cautious going down around there with your load of hay, and you would try and do it differently, right? This bit here, we're leaning over to the side. That's going to have your trailer leaning over to one side, and it's going to have you gripping the seat of your tractor with the cheeks of your buttocks quite hard. Okay, I'll tell you that for nothing. I know that some people look really casual when they go racing around with trailer loads of straw. I've never been able to do casual with that. I'm always worried that things are going to tip over. And if I'm, if, if my trailer is leaning over to one side, I'm holding on to the seat very hard. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gripping it tightly. You, you, I'm, 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 I'm fully clenched and I'm gripping it tightly. And I'm, I'm very concerned <laughs> with how it's going to go. So, I mean, if you were bringing it down, you, you might sort of consider going around that way um, to bring your load of hay down. I mean, I don't think you'd really need to. You'd come down through the middle of the yard there. You wouldn't want to... And then you'd take your empty trailer up through this way. That's how you would actually do it. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's just um, by the by for the minute. Right. So the next thing that we want to do is... It's actually going to be the last thing that we do today. We've got our new horse pen in here. This is all laid out now. We're going to need water. We're going to need food. And we're going to need bedding in here. And we're going to need eight new horses. Not going to buy eight new horses. Let's just go over and take a look in here a second. I oh, know I can't look in there. i got to look in here. Uh, so at the moment... These horses are brand new. I've got a load of brand new horses in here already. I've got Nigel Pipe, I've got Miss Pelt, I've got Jamie O'Connell, I've got Ivelios, and I've got Charles. So I've got five horses in here. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow, and then I'm going to buy four horses. And then I'm going to wait until the following day, I'm going to buy another four horses. And then I'm, you know... We, we've got them spread out a little bit. So we don't need to worry about buying the new horses until we've fast-forwarded time for 24 hours. Um, but we've now got the new horses set up. We've got the, the chickens mostly set up. We've got our new lot of stuff done over there. So there's our new horse pen. It's the second horse pen. I need to buy back the pressure washer. We could do that a minute. Let's just do that very quickly, else we will forget. So that's under miscellaneous. Pressure washer right there. And bring you back over this way. We're going to leave that pressure washer exactly where it was. Well, pretty much exactly where it was before, I would say. Um, yes, we will. We'll put that one back up there. So the pressure washer is going to go back where he was previously. And there we've now got pressure washer over there. We've got a new horse pen in place. And then once we get some horses down... We'll be able to, uh, once we've gone forward a little bit in time, we'll be able to start dealing with those as well. Um, but we'll do that in our next episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I'm going to do a little bit here um, to finish out today. But we'll, we'll, we'll tidy this up at the beginning of our next episode. And then all we need is one more coat of fertilizer on this field. This one is then ready to go. We don't need to worry about it at all. We just fast forward time on that one. Before we fast forward time, we will go to the dealership with our lorry and we will pick ourselves up some pallets, uh, some empty pallets of, uh, uh, for the eggs. I said that I can fit nine pallets on each um, chicken pen. So what we'll do is we'll get ourselves... 
as many pallets as we can fit onto that trailer. We cannot auto load the empty pallets, unfortunately, uh, which means that we're going to have to manually load those on. I am hoping that there will be another update on that trailer that will allow an additional mode to load empty pallets because having it only pick up the full pallets is a absolutely wonderful amazingly brilliant mode but it is a little bit of a nuisance as we found out it's a, only being able to do that is that's the little bit of the nuisance um if we were able to have both options that would make our lives a lot better but we'll, we'll deal with that but anyway until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later